Hi, Paul Daftarian here with the Daftarian Group. We're talking real estate update here, summer 2023 in coastal Orange County. A lot of people have been talking about this record low inventory, and I've been hearing this word over and over again, seller's market. That phrase has rung true pretty much since I would say 2015, 16, when prices flattened out, homes got auctioned off here in Orange County like the rest of the country post 2008, the Great Recession, and then it's just been an uphill climb since. Now here's the key. The important thing is every particular property, in every particular neighborhood and all these different communities throughout the US, they react differently to what's going on in the general housing market. That's why you always wanna have a local expert guiding you through the process of either selling or buying. Now our clients are asking us, Paul, is it a seller's market? Is it a buyer's market? Is it a neutral market? It depends on the property. For our listings that, for example, have new construction or new renovations, and you can see the ocean, it's become a bidding war, it's record sales, the seller's dictating terms, not just on price, but cash versus loan, quick escrow, maybe a rent back. So that particular property is gonna definitely fall under the category of seller's market. Some of our other clients that maybe have a property that is priced a bit higher, maybe not higher than the last sales, but maybe has work to be done, maybe needs a massive renovation and or has some issues with both say floor plan or maybe isn't the trophy property in a particular neighborhood, it's not flying off the shelf and it therefore could be a neutral property. There really isn't a lot of buyer market sentiment around where we're at today, and that's just because there's such little inventory. The reason for the low inventory right now is, well, it's a multitude of reasons. People don't wanna leave the area here in Coastal Orange County, and no matter what you wanna talk about at all these different neighborhoods, there seems to be more buyers than there are available properties to purchase. It's very simple, supply and demand, right? It dictates all what's happening in real estate at any given time, and it doesn't uh, it's not immune to what's going on in coastal Orange County. Now, here's the point. You can talk about data and homes being around, you know, let's say 6,000 plus for sale and it's a little above 2,000 plus right now in Orange County. And so we're down, call it a half or one third of what we should have compared to years prior to COVID. But what's really interesting is that there's so many micro markets within coastal Orange County. And within those micro markets, there's little sub communities. And within those communities, those particular homes that, are, that line all the streets, all will get viewed differently by particular buyers in the marketplace. We just listed a house in a community called Ocean Heights in Newport Coast. That neighborhood usually is a six, seven, maybe $8 million neighborhood. This particular property is listed at 12,495,000. It's two via, two via Rubino, excuse me. Now, why is that such an important address? It looks as if the, pr the price of the whole neighborhood has shot up now to like 12 million. That's not the case. This is a very rare property. It has no immediate rooftops, has one of the best ocean, coastline, and city light mountain views of any home anywhere in the community, all throughout Newport Coast or even coastal Orange County. And it's been updated and it's on the larger side. The community usually offers homes about four, 4,500 square feet. This one's almost 6,500 square feet. So it really rivals the homes across the street in the custom gates in Pelican Hill, Pelican Crest, Pelican Point, Crystal Cove, or Pelican Ridge Estates. And realistically, it is kind of a unicorn property. It is the trophy property for the neighborhood, depending on what your style tastes and lot locations are. It is one of the top, if not the best property in the whole neighborhood. That's why we priced it that way. We've had lots of showings and we've had offers in hand already and we're fishing for that right buyer who's gonna give us the right price and terms. That's definitely kind of a seller's market home. You could list another property in the same neighborhood and it could have a canyon view, it could have road noise, it could not be updated and it could be smaller. It might only be three or four bedrooms, it might not have all the amenities this one does and therefore it would fall under kind of that neutral market. You can't price it 10, 20% higher than where the comps are at, like we've done with two via Rubino. Now here's the takeaway and the lesson here. These homes are all gonna be viewed different by buyers. Us at the Daftarian Group, we know what buyers want. Almost half of our business is still representing buyers and not just our sellers. So we can connect the dots and give our clients the right advice to have one, the right property presentation. Believe it or not, how a home is still set up it could just be a cleanup and staging, it could be a decluttering, it might require a massive renovation. The presentation today is still as important, if not more important than ever, because buyers, if they're gonna go into their wallets or really their bank accounts and spend at record levels for these particular neighborhoods, they have to feel good about it. They have to say, I'm getting something in return for what feels like overpaying, and that's really a move and ready property or some kind of amazing view or some exceptional quality about the house, and that's what's triggering these record sales. 
I'm gonna tell you real quickly a story that's important, I think, not just for this area, Shady Canyon is our subject property, 70 Golden Eagle that we just listed, but really for all of coastal and you know all of Orange County or even just the country in general, this community, Shady Canyon, is located in Irvine, so you've got great world-class school districts, amazing safety, it's the double you know, gated community. If you have a gate on your own property, it's like triple gated, which this one was, and it's a custom home which separates it from almost any other neighborhood in Orange County, and specifically Irvine. Now, what's happened is over the last year or so, homes, custom homes, have been selling for around $1,100 a square foot in Shady Canyon. And that's actually, in my opinion, was low because it was below replacement value. Whenever you go into a neighborhood and you see homes selling for less than replacement value, meaning the cost of the land plus the cost of construction, it means that it's either not desirable, which isn't the case in Shady Canyon, or it means the homes need renovating, so people are padding at a discount, so when they buy the homes, they can renovate them or tear them down or do whatever they need to with the remodeling costs, right? Now, in this particular case, our client did a remodel on the home, but when we got involved and got chosen as a listing agent, what did we do? We went in there and said, hey, we need the rest of the whole house to look like the kitchen and the primary bath as far as the stonework and the renovations. So we helped kind of nudge along some other areas that maybe weren't as cohesive as the rest of the house because it wasn't a brand new house, it was a remodel. And then the house was furnished nicely, but it was sparsely furnished outside and all the guest suites. So we came in and staged it, give it a cohesive new home look, right? We also fixed some of the issues that we felt buyers were gonna say, hey, if I'm paying a record price, I don't wanna have 100 items on a home inspection report because then it's gonna make me feel like the house isn't as new as I thought it was. And that's how buyers get cold feet and back out. Now here's the key. We listed the house at almost $14 million. It was over $1,600 a square foot, which for Shady Canyon is a big jump in price. But there's a correlation between a neighboring community with a Newport coast, and that was Pelican Crest. We listed one shore ridge for over $3,000 a square foot um, at right under $40 million. Nobody thought we would sell it for anywhere near what it sold for. The market and agents told us, hey, this is a $25, $27 million property. We sold it to our own buyer for $34 million, slightly above $3,000 a square foot. And the buyer in that particular instance beat out another offer that was a couple million higher. So they felt great about it when the rest of the market obviously has proven wrong. So what our thought process was, hey, if 15 minutes away in Pelican Crest, homes are sell selling now for 3,000 a square foot. Why would custom homes in Shady Canyon be selling for close to $1,000 a square foot? So we, sell we kind of strategize with our client that it's time for a price shift. You have to deliver a turnkey product. It's gotta be a great property. The house did have a view, but I think, and again, you can see back from the showings and the information we had, you know, we were privy to that inside information, all the feedback from the 30, 40, 50 buyers who saw the house, not everybody loved the house, but the people that did sync up with it said I had to have it. And that's how we received multiple offers in a very short period of time. Now, why is this so important? What happened was when we listed that house, 70 Golden Eagle and Shady Canyon, there was less than, in our, including our listing, four custom homes for sale. When that house listed and went into escrow, the neighborhood, the neighbors got together and said, wait a minute, we can't believe this listed that high. And it wasn't the largest, wasn't the most, you know, kind of prolific property in the community. And it wasn't the unicorn or the trophy that people would call, but it was just done really nicely. And for the community, it felt more of an updated transitional home versus some of that neoclassical Tuscan Mediterranean homes that Shady Canyon was built on, right? That's, that's, what, the, that's what the community really offered when it was first built. This property was a new look, same home, but a new look kind of reskinned or redesigned or had a whole different aesthetic to it along with the furnishings and the lighting. So it felt like a progression or what people would consider as close to like kind of turnkey, which isn't usual for the neighborhood. So our client, through our help and guidance, it initially offered what would be a new style of look and home for the neighborhood. We, we got aggressive with the pricing, again, higher than many of the other agents advised and are listed on, because they did interview about half a dozen agents and teams. They chose us because we had the winning strategy. And that strategy had to get won over. We had to win over the seller first, then we had to actually implement the strategy, and then we had to execute on it. And I think the result speaks for itself. The property closed for 13,900,000 with some furniture and personal items, and it closed at $1,540 a square foot. Now again, are we artificially raising prices in the neighborhood? No, we are working with a seller who's trusting our advice, they're banking on our advice producing this record sales result, and therefore, 
When that sale happened, it benefited the whole neighborhood. But what's really important is there's 10 or 11 homes for sale right now in Shady Canyon. So this is the takeaway. If you're a buyer in Shady and you didn't buy a few months ago, now all the listings that are coming on are averaging around $1,500, $1,600 a square foot because now there's a bump in price and there's an actual comp to prove that multiple buyers in a very short period of time are willing to pay that premium price for that neighborhood so it feels undervalued. They see the competing neighboring communities selling for $2,400, $2,500, $3,000 a square foot. So Shady Canyon now gets perceived as a value and therefore the new listings that have all come on are at the higher price. But here's the most important point. The inventory is near tripled in less than a 30 day period. So if you're a seller and you thought just by listing your house and sticking a sale for sale sign in the ground is gonna get you $1,540 a square foot like 70 Golden Eagle, it is not. Because those homes didn't have the same preparation, look, presentation, and obviously execution as our home did at 70 Golden Eagle. And that's why the agents that get called like us at the Daftarian Group are gonna give our sellers the right advice. And that's what we're really good at. We don't wanna create more work for our sellers, but our sellers don't call us to get a market result. They're like, hey, Paul, the comps are X and we just want X. They want Y. They want the market leading number or in many cases, the record sale. So we have the right strategy. We have the right team to be able to implement some of these changes. And a lot of it's just paint, lighting, landscaping, staging. It sounds like a lot, but we're getting these things done in two or three weeks. I'm gonna give you another quick story. We've got a property that just came on the market, Seven Shoreview in Pelican Point. It's a beautiful home. It was listed multiple times by a very reputable agent who I have a lot of respect for. The bigger issue wasn't the agent, wasn't really the market. It was the way the house presented. And the issue was that it was dark, it had drapes, it had a lot of furniture. The owner had obviously lived in it a certain way and they didn't wanna make those changes to really kind of deliver the house the way a buyer wants to see it. What do buyers wanna do? They wanna imagine themselves in the property. They don't want it too personalized. They don't want things that are gonna block their imagination from having a great time in the kitchen with their family or the, or the grounds. But let me tell you, this property, away from kind of the imagination required to see what it can be, is a dream property. It's two lots in Pelican Point, which is the ocean side of Pacific Coast Highway. It's guard gated. And again, if you look at what's selling in Emerald Bay or Irvine Cove, or even all the way down south in Three Arch and beyond, those homes are selling for three, four, five, six, seven, even plus $8,000 a square foot. This is an 11,000 square foot custom home that was built about 20 years ago. We were able to convince the owner to make these changes to give the house a totally different look and feel. And when you walk in the property, it doesn't look like it needs to be totally renovated. What it is, it looks like a blank canvas for someone to come in and make some changes or live in it right away. And really it accentuates all the positive, which is these amazing grounds. I'm sure there's gonna be pictures sliding in right now of the amazing pool, the casita, the house itself looking like a compound, you know, 11,000 square feet on three levels with seven bedrooms and a gym and a media room and a steam room and a downstairs guest suite that has a walkout basement with grounds and an amazing golf course view that really looks like Rogers Gardens just came in and redid everything. I mean, it's got a multi-million dollar backyard and to have two lots tied to get together at, you know, let's call it over half an acre on the ocean side of Pacific Coast Highway where you can take your little key fob and walk down the street and walk onto Crystal Cove State Beach, I think is still undervalued. We listed the property right under 16 and a half million. Whoever buys that house today, I promise you do a little bit of a remodel past what, what the owner did right now with our listing, it's gonna be a low 20s home. When I'm saying low 20s, 22, 23 million, because it's irreplaceable. You can't find two lots for sale in Pelican Point, let alone one lot. So if the lot value is, let's call it, I don't know, nine, 10 million, and I'm being, I'm being conservative here, and you have an 11,000 square foot home, go call your local reputable, reputable builder. Our clients spent almost, I think over $800 a square foot 20 years ago to build the house. That's how high end it is with elevator systems, multiple main kitchen with a back kitchen and all the other things, subterranean level, walkout basement, the grounds, the pool. It has a get a, a guest casita. It has an outdoor you know, kiss, kitchen casita for entertaining and kind of party prepping. It's an amazing property. The entire pool's mosaic inlay tile. And again, you've got these views that are golf course, walking distance to your gate to the beach. You're gonna spend at least somewhere 
today, really $1,000 to $2,000 a square foot, but let's just call it for argument's sake. Let's round down and say $1,000 a square foot. That's 11 million to build it, 10 million to buy the lot. That's 22 million. You might say you get a brand new property, but you're gonna be doing it for two, three, four years to build. All that headache and time, you can come in this house, live in it right away, do a, do a, I don't know, three, six month remodel. But my point is when homes, again, up the hill are selling for $2,500 to $3,000 a square foot, you better believe $1,500 a square foot feels like a deal. So I'm gonna talk into something. Is right now the right time to buy a house? I'm gonna repeat that. People ask me this every single day. Is right now the perfect time or the right time to buy a house? Did I miss the window? Are things just, am I getting priced out? And I can tell you, growing up in this area, being in and around real estate in Orange County, coastal Orange County for almost 29 years, I don't have any clients or friends or family that said, gosh, I really regret buying that house. They regret they didn't buy more and they didn't buy sooner. And that's what we're talking about. These coastal properties, while the rest of the market is softening, days on market are increasing and interest rates are having a negative impact, the reason why our homes are selling for more money, fewer days on market, is because there's always gonna be more buyers than there are available inventory. You've got not just the residents and the people that are enjoying these homes, selling them at a lower rate than ever before. You've got more people that have discovered Newport Beach, Newport Coast, Corona Del Mar, excuse me, Corona Del Mar, Laguna Beach, Dana Point, The Strand, areas that weren't even developed before. You've got a mass exodus from other areas like, you know, out of Orange County that are coming in and they're saying, I wanna work with a local expert, a buyer's agent who can tell me all the differences with these neighborhoods, who has on-market knowledge and all the inside info on these properties, has off-market um, knowledge of off-markets, whether they're their own or outside teams that they work with locally. And the most important thing is pricing in the right offer, coupled with the right strategy so that they beat out other offers because almost everything has multiple offers on it. A good property's got multiple buyers interested in it at any time. And the key is without overpaying. And that's what I think we do better than anybody on the buy and the list side. If you look at our stats, we're about 50-50. Not a lot of listing, mega listing agents can say that they still represent a lot of buyers. And that's what the power of our team has. It's really kind of this ability to you know, get listings sold at a record price or market leading prices and still work with a massive buyer pool to be able to put them in the right homes without feeling like they got the, pull, the wool pulled over their eyes and just overpaying. Again, go back to that one Pelican Crest property. Our client was the seller. We represented the buyer. People were like, how'd you get someone to pay almost $34 million for that house and they had to do a massive renovation? I guarantee you when they're done with the remodel, it's gonna be their dream home. They're not gonna think for a second, oh, I overpaid for it. That's not the conversation that gets had after you start enjoying the property. So quick market recap. I don't even know if I answered the question. Really, literally, is right now the right time to buy or should I wait? I believe that if you're in the market to buy a house, you're not just looking at it in the investment component. Of course, you never wanna overpay, but really it's finding the right house. We have clients that have been looking, not just with us, with other agents, and they come to us or even with us for months, multiple quarters, even years. So finding the right home in these micro markets that all kind of function different ways, the lifestyles are all different, the functionality of their homes are different, and really the prices are varying in many of the neighborhoods in coastal Orange County, it's finding the right property. So when you find a home that you absolutely love, if it's within your budget, you should strike because nobody has come back to me at least over the last 10 or 15 years and said, man, I should have waited. I shouldn't have bought. I should have waited. The market was gonna dip down. Everybody's been waiting for the dip, right? But this isn't a stock. It's not a commercial space. This is a residence for yourself, most likely for your family and for people that you care and love to enjoy. We're not just selling homes, we're selling a lifestyle. And that's the difference with Coastal Orange County versus other neighborhoods. Like again, ones I grew up in. When you get down towards the beach, there's so many different varying factors. People wanna be as close to the water as possible, but sometimes they don't wanna be on the water. They wanna be in a gated community. What's the difference between Newport Coast, Crystal Cove, Big Canyon, The Strand? These are questions that people ask us all the time. When you look at the options for people to be able to buy, it's always gonna give them a sense of, wow, there's such limited inventory. And that's really why people call us Going back to the Shady Canyon house that we listed, 70 Golden Eagle, the person left Newport Coast to go to Shady Canyon. And someone might say, wait a minute, you left a house with the ocean breeze and views of the water to be able to go a little bit more inland? And that's because the house they spent a little under $13 million on 
might have cost them 25 or 30 million dollars in Newport Coast or Crystal Cove or CDM, and they didn't want to outlay that kind of money. So now they looked at Shady as giving them everything they ever wanted, and it felt like a deal. And that's really the difference with some of these different neighborhoods. It's really the education of what each neighborhood offers. And that's why dealing with a local expert like us at the Daftarian Group is critical because you might not know what these neighborhoods offer as far as amenities, lifestyle, functionality, ability to expand footprints and remodel. And we usually have all the answers. And if we don't, we're gonna find out right away for you. Our records speak for themselves. And that has shown continually to deliver market leading results by exceeding our clients' expectations. Your happiness matters to us. This is a stressful process and we're able to predict and come up with a strategy that can give you a little bit of peace of mind so things don't feel like they're flying at you 100 miles a minute. This is a crazy market that we're in and people wanna know what's going on with the market, how does my house fit into it, if I sell, what is that gonna look like and what's the result and the end result gonna look like? I promise we'll be able to shed some light to create peace of mind, clarity, and a little bit of confidence in your next step. My team and I have designed a winning formula for our buyers. I know we hear this all the time. I'm frustrated. My offer didn't get accepted. I didn't even get responded to. I put a full price offer and I didn't even get a counter back. These are the these are the kind of conversations, commentary we're getting from our buyers right now that really haven't worked with us yet. The main thing when we go back and ask them when the sale's done, what did we do differently than the other agent? Delivered us information beyond what the internet ever could have told us talked about possibilities about the house itself, renovations, community, really downloading knowledge that we didn't even ask for, that was pertinent in us making a decision. And number one, delivering a strategy, a winning strategy that helped us get our property without having to overpay for it. And that's really the result we're looking for. And that's what we love, the celebration at the end of each of these purchases. Give me a call anytime, pick up the phone, call me, text me, email me, or contact a person on my team. We're available 24 seven to answer any and all questions you have. The market's always changing. No matter what you think you know about what's gonna happen, a local expert like myself and my team are gonna be able to deliver information so you can make the best decision for yourself. Again, easy to reach. Our numbers are all over the place. We're in the shopping carts of the grocery stores, we're online, we're on all the real estate sites, our office is on PCH, but more importantly, we're there to help. So call or text anytime. A lot of our clients are actually even just DM DMing us. That wasn't a thing years ago, but either way, there's so many different mediums and platforms to be able to contact us. We're here to help. We're available 24 seven.